hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math olympiad algebra problem so here we have x plus y equals to 8 and x y equals to 6x and we solve this problem for the values of x and y so here first we call this is our equation number one and we call this is our equation number two now first we need to focus on equation number one and equation number one is implies that here we move this x to the right hand side so it will be written as y is equals to 8 minus x and we call here this is our equation number three so now we need to put this value of y in equation number two so that uh, equation number two is implies that uh, so uh, our equation number 2 is that x y equals to 6 x and we put this value of y here and it will be written as uh, x times of y and the value of y is 8 minus x is equals to this is our 6 x and now further in the next step uh, we need to multiply this x on both of these values and it will be written as uh, 8 times of x minus this is x times of x becomes x square and this whole is equals to 6x and now further in the next step uh, we need to move this 6x in the left hand side and you see here this will becomes 8x minus x square and this is plus 6x when we move in the left hand side it will become the minus 6x and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, we need uh, to add or subtract the like terms so here we have this is 8x minus 6x is equals to 2x minus this is our x square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see here uh, this uh, both of these terms involve x and we will take common x from these two terms and we get the remaining values are here you get 2 minus here you get x only and this whole equation equals to 0. And now here further in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write x equals to 0 and the second case is we write 2 minus x equals to 0. So this is the first value of x uh, and now here from this case we move this minus x to the right hand side and we get our x is equals to plus 2. So this is the second value of x. And now further in the next step uh, we need uh, to find the values of y corresponding to these values of x. So for this we need to copy down equation number 3 here. So equation number 3 is implies that y is equals to 8 minus x and now we put these two values of x in this equation and when we put this value of x equals to 0 here it will becomes y equals to 8 minus x and the value of x is equals to 0 so you get here the value of y equals to 8 so this is the value of y and now here further in the next step uh, we need uh, to put the second value of x here and the second value of x is 2 when we put it here it will becomes uh, y is equals to 8 minus 2 and the value of x is 2 when you put this value here so it will be written as uh, y is equals to 8 minus 2 becomes here 6 so this is the second value of y. And now we have uh, there are two solutions of the given equation so these solution sets are first you when you put the value of x is 0 we get the corresponding value of y is 8 and when we put the value of x 2 we get the corresponding value of y is 6. So these are the two solution sets of the given equation. And now here in the next step we need to verify these two solutions is these two solutions are satisfied over given question statement or not. Uh, for the verification of solution first we need to copy down the given equations here so for we have x plus y equals to 8 and the second equation is x y equals to 6x and now we need to verify these two solutions so that first we can uh, put the check verify the first solution that is 0 and 8 it means that we need to put here x equals to 0 and y equals to 8 on both of the above equations. 
So when you put these two values here, it will be written as 0 plus 8 is equals to 8 and we get here 8 is equals to 8. So this shows that the values of x and y is satisfied our first equation and similarly we will check uh, the verification of second equation. So when you put these two values here it will become the value of x is 0 times of value of y is 8 equals to 6 times of x the value of x is 0. 0 times of 8 equals to 0 and 6 times of 0 is also equals to 0. So this also shows that the value of uh, x equals to 0 and y equals to 8 is satisfied both of these equations. So it means that uh, 0, 8 be the solution of the given equation and now here we need to move forward and we can check the second solution set. And now for the verification of uh, second solution, uh, here our second solution is uh, x is equals to 2 and y is equals to 6. So we verify these two values of x and y. So again we copy down the given question equations here x plus y equals to 8 and xy equals to 6x. So further in the next step. Uh, we need to put the values of x and y on both of these equations. So uh, when you put these two values here, it will be written as 2 plus 6 equals to 8 and 2 plus 6 becomes 8 equals to 8. So this shows that the values of x and y is also satisfied the first equation. And now we move uh, to the second equation and here we put again these two values here. So we have the value of x is 2 and the value of y is 6 is equals to 6 times of x the value of x is 2. So 2 times of 6 becomes 12 equals to 6 times of 2 becomes also 12. So this shows that uh, the second equation is also satisfied the values of x and y. And this is the our final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.